Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. In this video I would like to cover a topic about the wind noise. I'm not talking about uh, wind buffering but the noise that you get around the helmet and it's a common problem with the Africa Twin. No matter what kind of a windscreen you're gonna use uh, you will experience that uh, wind noise at high speeds. I had a couple different windscreens uh, on uh, my motorcycle and uh, currently have the airflow screen by GV. I made a video a while back about it. Uh, it's a great screen. Um, it will protect you from the wind buffering itself. Uh, it's uh, like, and it's great when you off-road, you can lower it or it even take off the top piece. The wind is coming basically from right here. One of my last videos that when I was coming back from Utah, I was uh, playing around on a highway while I was riding at high speeds by just simply putting the hand in this section here. And I noticed huge, huge improvement when the wind was not hitting the helmet. And it's really annoying when you're trying to do a vlog uh, with your camera uh, like on a motorcycle. Also, when you're ri riding for a long time, the noise gets annoying. It's not a problem uh, when I'm off-road, obviously, because uh, the speed is not there. But uh, when I'm riding on a highway on a higher, at higher speeds, it annoys the hell out of me. It ruins my audio uh, in my helmet, even though the microphone is inside. But uh, the audio is... Uh, I have so much work in the post-production to get that audio at least to somewhat acceptable range uh, where it can be usable. Uh, as I mentioned, I put a hand in here and uh, that was solving pretty much everything. I put them both and the noise was gone. I started searching, what can I do about it? Um, I was thinking just to mount something here myself. While I was browsing uh, through a different website, I went to AliExpress and I just simply typed uh, wind deflectors. Something popped up uh, that it's uh, basically, it's like uh, 40 bucks. I will give that a shot. It seems like it's a great choice. I'll show you that in a second. So basically that will mount here like a little wind deflectors and uh, that should, in theory, eliminate all the noise. So the package has arrived uh, just a couple of days ago and it's just uh, two pieces of ABS plastic. Unfortunately, believe it or not, it doesn't come with any instructions, but I don't think we need them for that. Uh, if you are handy and you do so doing some work on a bike, pretty much anybody can install that. So basically you got those two, two pieces of uh, ABS uh, wind deflectors or spoilers, however you want to call it. And then you got a couple of grommets uh, that are very similar, if not the same, that the windscreen is mounted on in the front uh, on an Africa Twin. Uh, if you want to have a closer look at it, uh, basically that's how that looks. Uh, there's two sides and they, they can go only one way. Um, there's two holes here, to, I guess, to deflect the air and uh, it's shaped out. So. Uh, when it's installed on a bike, it pushes the air to the side and up instead of going right on your head. This is uh, the left side. When I looked on a website link uh, where I purchased this, they're recommending it that you set it like this here, even with the end of the windscreen. But to me, that's not enough clearance uh, to cover that area. So what I will do, I will push it up somewhere around here. So those screws are basically will be even. Make sure you line it up with that uh, blue stripe or whatever color you have on your Africa Twin. And at this point, you want to check that uh, it will not interfere with this. Uh, you could probably even push it higher. I don't know if I want to do that because that will give uh, too much of an opening right here in this section. So that's why I want to stick 
somewhere around this, even with that, with that windscreen, screw, with windscreen screw. So basically at this point, I will just grab the marker. I will mark some holes uh, because you have to drill it. Uh, I guess you could use a double-sided tape, uh, but it's actually, I don't mind it. I could the, to, to mount it uh, properly the, the way it's supposed to. And I'll mark two points where I will drill. So I got those two holes marked. They're barely visible, but uh, I can see them. So I will use a drill bit in the size of that grommet. This way I should be able to uh, push that in because there's, it's metal all around, so it has to be that diameter. Just be gentle, don't push it too hard because I don't even remember what was behind there. I just want to make sure I got no cables running behind there or anything like that. Okay, I'm through. So there was nothing behind that one. Okay, now we're in. It uses similar mounting screws as well as the windscreen with the little plastic washer. So just make sure you install those. I picked this area, but uh, I can always pull that a little bit back. That should compress that little grommet in there. So that's what my goal is going to be right at this moment, uh, because there's uh, Probably there's a reason why they would say to drill it uh, below uh, that uh, area, not like I did. So what I ended up doing, I cut the screw about that much and uh, now everything is sitting flush because uh, there's that second piece of plastic underneath that didn't give enough room for that grommet. So once you cut the screw, it fits way better. Um, just if you want to put it that way, if you don't want to follow those uh, manufacturer recommendation. Now I will do the same thing on the other side. Not too tight because otherwise you're going to break those plastics. So now everything is sitting nice and flush. This time I won't be using a marker because on that blue, I can just push it with the Allen key and mark myself some holes there. That's actually gonna work way better than the marker. We will drill two little hole, two holes. This time I'm gonna do it slowly so the drill bit doesn't slip. That fairing off again. That side is actually fitting, I think, better than the other side. Now, as long as I can squeeze that in there now. I will try first with the full length screw if I'll see if I have to cut it as well. Hopefully not, because it seems like there's more room, but the grommet doesn't go in all the way anyway. But uh, once it's compressed, it will hide itself. Yeah, and that one sits nice actually, without any really modifications. So that's it for that installation. All right, guys, so the installation is finished. Pretty simple process, it takes about 20 minutes. Uh, we'll check it out on the road, how that will perform. Uh, I will continue with this video, with the vlog on the helmet and see if I'm getting any wind noise. Uh, let's go on the road and see how that will perform. I have a feeling that's uh, already better because uh, I don't feel the air at, uh, what am I doing here, 93 kilometers per hour, but uh, just outside here, out of this construction zone, 
I should be able to uh, get it up uh, to a higher speed. I was gonna turn off to the side road and uh, give her over there to see uh, how is that gonna perform. But at this point, um, there's a little bit of wind. Uh, I can feel it, um, even though it's not a windy day, uh, but there is a wind. Uh, we should be able to see that uh, right there as the flag is blowing. So actually it's not a little bit, it's quite a bit. And uh, I think it's uh, pretty quiet here inside the helmet. And I can see a huge difference. I can see a little bit off to the side, a little bit of noise, but nothing near uh, what it was uh, before. I will try to load uh, my previous video when I was talking about it, uh, when I was coming back from Utah, you can compare it uh, to this one here. And it is actually quite windy, because uh, as you saw, the flag was blowing uh, quite a bit. But right now I'm going uh, exactly 120 kilometers per hour, uh, 130, doesn't make a difference. So yes, uh, those deflectors, they definitely make a difference. Very noticeable difference. Uh, good investment. Uh, on AliExpress, a couple of minutes to install it, uh, not a big deal. Uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to find it on Amazon or not, but uh, those uh, those particular ones, they, they, they came from AliExpress. What I have to add that uh, they do come in uh, three different colors, which is uh, clear, the ones that I have. Then you have a smoked uh, version and a black. So you have three choices, whatever suits you need. Yeah, if you're on a highway, if you're spending quite a bit uh, riding on a highway, no brainer. It's uh, worth the investment. It definitely keeps the wind away from your helmet. You can, you can hear the wind uh, like in a background, but uh, it's nothing that uh, it was hitting directly on the helmet. Even if I put my hands right here now, I'm gonna do it both. It doesn't make a difference. Before, as soon as I put my hands in there, uh, I could uh, tell uh, right away the wind was stopping. Here, it makes no difference. So the wind, the wind is being uh, deflected uh, to to the side. And now we can hear it even more as I accelerate. And that's the gravel road that should be crossing over the river, technically. We'll see if it does, I don't know. Now I should be going with the wind. Mm, the smell of the farm. There's that river, or creek, however you want to call it. And the crossing is just in front of me. Let's see if there's water in it. A road closed, you use at your own risk. Yeah, there's people actually right there. Let's see how deep that is. It shouldn't be too deep. Oh, it's quite washed out. Washed out. Cooling off on a day like this? Why not? So I'm getting back to the main highway now. Well, not the main highway, secondary highway, but it's a bigger road. I'm going again right into the wind. Don't look at the speedo on the bike, it's not accurate. The speedo on uh, GPS, I always go by that. Uh, the Honda uh, speedo is always off by a few kilometers. Uh, I think it's almost uh, 10%. All 
it guys so it's time to wrap up this video i think i tested it how those wind deflectors will perform but definitely they do make a difference uh, there's no doubt about it great purchase i'm pretty happy with it At this point, uh, as always, uh, very important, uh, if you enjoy the content, if you find it useful and helpful, don't forget to give the like button. Uh, that's always very appreciated and thank you all that already subscribed. If you didn't, uh, now it's your turn uh, to subscribe, help that YouTube algorithm uh, to roll. So, uh, as always, uh, stay tuned on the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!